about down. Now in Washington, there are some people that are that are thinking people that are a lot like you. Jason uh, Chavitz, he is from Utah. He's a Republican congressman. He sleeps on a cot in his office because, well, I don't know. Why, Congressman, why do you sleep on a couch? I mean, on a, on a well, cot. You know, I, uh, well, Glenn, thanks for having me on this show. Congratulations on the Thank new you. show. I love it. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, I got a wife and three kids. I didn't come to Washington, D.C. To, to sleep and go get some other place. I work late into the night, get up first thing in the morning, and I, I need to save the $1,500 a month that I can by just throwing a cot in my closet and sleeping there for a if few I'm hours mistaken, and get, getting back after work. If I'm not mistaken, your daughter went to the store when you won um, in your district. Your daughter, you, were, you yeah. took her to the store and you were like a Walmart or something. And you yeah, said, a little Smith's grocery store, yeah. Okay, tell me what happened. Uh, well, I needed some place to sleep, and so we saw a cot over there by the ice cream, and we threw it down on the aisle there and tried it out. It didn't have a bar in the middle of it, and I thought, yeah, this will this will work. I can I can sleep on it, and you know I sleep on it because I don't want her to have to sleep on it. Let me ask Let me ask you this, Congressman. Yeah. What is the atmosphere there in Washington? Are there Are there people there that get it? That that are that I mean. I think America, and maybe I'm wrong, I don't mean to speak for you, America, let me speak for me. I, I, I am so tired, I am so frustrated, I mean, who are these cretins that are walking around in a different parallel universe where they just think they can spend and live any way they want and not really pay attention or reflect to us at all? Are you, how many people are there, would you say, that, that you know, just walk around the hallways and like, Psst, hey. I'm with you. Tonight, midnight. You know, we put everybody there, to there, sleep. <laughs> I'm there, serious. A little there sleepy, are a lot of good deep. Just a little sleepy gas on everybody just, just for like a month. You just put them all to sleep for just about a month, and we just take care of everything. And then they wake up, and they're like, what happened? I don't know, but everything's fixed. <laughs> Have a good nap. Well, you know what? There are some very good and decent people here. What I'm afraid of is that... It's just been business as usual with Nancy Pelosi. I mean, we've, we had the, one of the largest spending bills in the history of the United States of America. We didn't even get to debate it. We just I, threw it up on the floor, and thank I, goodness the House Republicans voted against it. Congressman, but I, I want to ask you, you know, this. I ran because I'm fed up. Hang on just a I second. I was absolutely fed up. I want to, you know, I, my, I, hang on, hang on. Ahead. I want you to ask, because I, I, I don't know about the rest of America, but I'm fed up with a left-right argument. I'm tired of people yeah. throwing the other party down, uh, down yeah. the elevator shaft. How about your own party? How about the Republicans hey, who have who have just I, been like, oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my, it's a principle. I haven't seen these principles in a long time. Now all of a sudden we're expected well, to believe in principles. A Twelve year, I, I unseated a twelve-year incumbent Republican, and it's because I said the Republicans had the House, the Senate, and the presidency, and they blew it. And so we organized a grassroots campaign, over a thousand volunteers. I had no paid staff. I had no campaign office. I refused to go into debt. I wouldn't buy anybody a, a free meal. And it resonated with the American people. It's how I got into office.